go to admin section go to module loader upload the package you got it from the store once uploaded install it once installed you will be redirected to the license page over here provide the license which you have got it from the once the license is uh, provided validated once validated you will get a success message and then you need to configure the sms setting so please go to the page please configure sms setting so here you need to enable the sms and then you need to select the gateway once the gateway is selected you need to give the account sid and oath token for that give go to the twilio console get your sid or token and the twilio phone number and you need to give the number so this is the sandbox number uh, for which the twilio is configured once configured you need to click on save Also, if you need to enable the scheduler for birthday and anniversary workflow, you need to click this checkbox and then click on save. Once this is done, you need to do repair. Please execute the scripts. So once everything is done, go to contacts module. So you can see that beside the phone number, SMS icon. So go inside the contacts rec record view and you can see that there is a SMS icon beside the phone number. So on click of this, the chat box opens. Now over here in the history sub panel, there is no record found. But once the SMS uh, we sent, there is a entry locked over here in the S3 sub panel. So we'll see that before that we'll send the SMS. So this is the chat box. So you can see these are the templates which are pre-configured for sending SMS. So if we select the birthday SMS, you can see that it has come like your happy birthday. And then once you click on send, message has been sent. You need to refresh the page to see the history sub panel data. You can see that the, for, to this number an SMS has been sent. Once you open it, you can see the status is outbound held. The description, what we send, the SMS and also the start date, everything. All the details have been logged here. Now there is one more uh, thing which is a mass SMS. So right now which we send is the uh, single SMS. Now if you want to send the mass SMS, you need to select both the records or which for whichever record you want to send the SMS and then go to mass SMS. Over here again the chat box opens. Here you will find all the templates which have been configured for mass templates. So here there are no template as of now. So you need to go to email templates to create a new template. So first we will go to email template to create a new template. Uh, you can give as a generic template which will be used for mass SMS. And the module list, uh, uh, you have to give us a generic, which will be common. And then uh, you can give the body. Okay, so that is done. We'll give send SMS only. We will give the subject as hello. And then description just will give us hello and then we will save it. Now we will again go to a contacts module. We will select both the records and then we will select mass SMS. Template has not been recorded. We will just go to email template and uh, just save it. This is a template which we just created it. Oh. I forgot to give the uh, SMS template. So you have to select the SMS template checkbox to show it over there. We will go to contacts module. We will select both 
and then uh, we will have to click on BB Mass SMS. You can see the template has come over here. So dear customer, happy onboarding. So to both the numbers which have been selected over here, the SMS will go and we will get the messages, message sent. Now, if you go inside each, you can see there is one more uh, entry that is for the mass SMS, which we just sent. Uh, so we saw the template, how it's getting created and how we can send the single and the mass SMS. Now there is one more option where we can schedule SMS. So for that, we have to go to BV schedule SMS module and then create a record. And uh, based on how we give the data, like what time we schedule it, the SMS will be sent at that point of time. So this is the uh, outbound SMS, which we just saw. Now, if we want to go to inbound SMS, then we have to go to Twilio. So this is the uh, page uh, in Twilio where we have to configure the webhook. We have to go to this number, our sandbox number, where we get an option to configure the webhook. So here messaging configuration, you need to give the URL. So for example, uh, this is the URL like uh, whichever is your uh, URL of your CRM, then uh, entry point is receive SMS. Then you can configure the inbound SMS as well.